When I first started Unreal Engine with Houdini in the back of my mind, I wanted to take advantage of the high-tech features that UE has to offer and also make use of Houdini's procedural workflows, which I think is Houdini's most valued feature. UE's real-time rendering engine is fast and beautiful. I hope you're convinced of that from my previous video. So the question I asked myself is, how can I combine the best of both worlds? Or what can I make by taking advantage of features from both softwares. In the previous video, I showed a very short clip of how RBD and Pyro simulated in Houdini can be brought into Unreal Engine 5. This is incredibly useful, especially for me because I'm a big Houdini fan, but Houdini is really good at procedural modeling too, which is also very beneficial to have in an Unreal. This will really show, this will really show when you're building very large environment scenes, it may take you forever to get bash assets together in Unreal Engine to get a larger than life world established, but with the help of Houdini, things are very different. In this video, I start off with a very simple tunnel generator in Houdini and port it over to UE and we'll get a glimpse of the integration and workflow between the two applications. I've made this tunnel geometry in Houdini and we're going to be popping this into Unreal Engine. It's going to look something like this. So this material that you see this brown is dirt material is from Unreal Engine. So that's the beauty of using integration between Houdini and Unreal Engine. We can use the best of both worlds, like the procedural workflow in Houdini. We can take advantage of that and use awesome assets in Unreal Engine. Now this tunnel, I'm not going to go over how I made this tunnel in Houdini just because that's not the focus of this video. I will make this, this is an HDA just because that's how it works between Houdini and Unreal Engine. I will make this HDA and all this no network available to perk members so you'll have access to that creating the hda let's go up a level so this is the hda we see here that is this tunnel now let's start all over let's actually make this from scratch go in here i'm going to take everything in here and i'm just going to copy it i'm going to paste it in here and we're going to make the hda so you can follow along now highlight all the nodes over here. Then you come over here to assets, click this new digital asset from selection. Give it a minute to think. Now we're going to specify where we're going to put it. And I'm just going to stick it in the same place I stuck my other one. So in here, in my tunnel maker. So I believe I called it tunnel generator. Okay. Tunnel generator dot HDALC. Just because I have the limited, uh, limited commercial edition of Houdini. I'm going to name it version 2 just because I already have one up here. I just, I'm just doing it again for demo purposes. So accept. Here I'm going to call it tunnel generator. Okay, let's accept, accept. Okay, there it is. There's our version 2 of tunnel generator. Now we're going to go over to Unreal Engine. I'm going to pop it in. Now there's already one right here, so you're going to see another one pop over. Completely new to Unreal Engine. I'm not going to go over everything in Unreal, so you need to have at least some basic UI concepts of Unreal Engine. There is the content drawer right here. This is the default layout. It's not really docked. It'll always be there, but it'll pop away. So if I click something else, it'll go away, which is awesome because I don't have much real estate right now. Now we're going to come over to the Window Explorer. This is the HD that we just generated. You can just click and drag it into your content drawer, or you can click import and go to where you saved the HDA, click it, and then we're going to import it in. There you go. Version 2. That's the one that we just made. Unreal Engine 5 Basics. For this uh, exercise, I'm going to make a new level as well, just to show you from completely from scratch. Now we're going to start from scratch. So let's create. So come to your content drawer, right click to get this pop up window and then select level to make a new level. OK, I'm going to say level two and then okay, just double click this. This is asking you if you want to save everything before you open up the level. Just because we created level two doesn't mean it's actually saved. So that's how Unreal works. And we popped in Tunnel Generator HDA. That's the version two, the one that we just created. It needs to be saved as well. So let's just save it. 
Okay, this is actually level two. So how do I know? Okay, so it says right there level two. That's the new level that we made. Why is it completely black? Because I haven't added any lights. If you look over here in your outliner, there are no lights. It's completely empty. There's nothing in here. So let's just add that. Let's go to Windows. What you want is Environment Light Mixer. Click that. With this, what you want to do is just click all these buttons. It will create lights for you over here. Watch as I click all these. Click, 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 click. So it'll fill your scene with all the different lights that you just made. Very super easy. What I like to do is just because I don't have much real estate, pull this down. So you can see that these windows are all dockable and resizable, which is awesome. So it's very similar to what we have in Houdini with panels. Now, what I like to do is come over here and I like to be a little bit more organized because we're going to get more stuff over here and I want to place all the lights into a folder. So what I do here, come to level two, right click, create folder and just name it lights. Now you don't have to do this. I just like to stay organized. Now I'm going to choose all the lights, which is everything we have in the scene so far because we don't have anything else. Highlight that just like left click shift left click same as what you do in your file system on windows or on linux or whatever and then left click drag move it into the folder now what i wanted to do is add a floor so we have something to start off with in unreal engine they have different ways how you can create your project now this is a project that was created with a blank and with content starter packet now that's important for me just because if you want anything like a cube or anything like that, we can actually create the cube in Houdini, but I want to keep it a bit simpler. Remember to check the content starter package when you're creating your Unreal project. You'll be given this folder and it contains a lot of the starter elements, uh, starter objects, cube, tubes, spheres, like uh, and some selective materials just to get you started with and a lot of uh, particle uh, visual effects as well. So this is, um, uh, this is nice to have. What I'm going to do is left click the starter content come over here to the search and I'm gonna type two a cube now this is the cube that we need I'm gonna left click drag it onto the viewport okay you can see here that it's been added to the level to the scene and we can also see it right here as well so this is the different ways where you can select things so this is selecting this is transformation rotation and scaling so this is this little widget here is very similar to in Houdini we have this panel over here it's the same stuff that we have over here select the cube it's selected because I can see this orange outline and what I'm going to do is I'm going to so under the details panel I want to I don't want to have it in some random position this is the position that I have dragged the cube onto the viewport at that time well I don't want it there I want it at zero 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 just to make things easier later on when we're trying to align the tunnel okay how did I focus all the way here it's the same thing it's as Houdini you press F because I still have the cube selected if you accidentally click something else and oh no where's my cube i don't know where it is well come to the outliner click the cube here so it's selected now hover your mouse over the viewport and press f and it'll focus the camera will focus onto the cube so if you ever get lost that's how you can find yourself now what we're gonna do here is i'm gonna make this really really large i'm gonna pull this down make it thin and i'm gonna make this really really large to make it easier i'm actually going to just use this to scale it so like it's a little because i want to make it really large let's make this 100 100 oh remember to unlock this first because i wanted this to be different this needs 100 and then this to be 100 and then this as the z the z is the is the y in houdini it's it's the, so the axes are a little different so the up is y in houdini but in unreal it's z so i'm going to put 0.5 we have a cube. We have a floor. That's what I'm trying to create. Tweaking the Houdini asset. So we created our tunnel in Houdini and we created that HDA. It's time to drop it into our new scene. Let's go to the content drawer. Now let's take this out. Now, where did we put that? Well, I, I have it in a special folder called my levels, just so it's easy to find. You can put it anywhere you want to create a new folder. You can just right click the content. Just create new folder and you can drop it in wherever you want. So we have the tunnel maker over here. I want to drop this in. 
give it a bit of time to cook now just to double check houdini engine is working or at least that's what unreal is telling me okay so it did cook it's a little small though if you can see over here it's super small so we're gonna make it scale it up just because the houdini units and unreal units they have a difference by uh, times 100 whatever comes out of houdini just multiply it by 100 with this tunnel generator selected i'm gonna come over here and i want to zero zero it out just so that it's easier to align everything. I always want it in the origin. Now the scale, I'm going to have 100, 100. I'm going to have this. Okay, I could just lock it. This is an asset. It has to be uniform scaled. Now I already have a material. It's actually remembering the material I had put on it before. I'm going to go over how the material is automatically assigned. So that's actually something that's done in Houdini. The material is in Unreal Engine though, I want to clarify. But let's finish setting this up. Let's drop in our player start. I created a blank Unreal Engine project. I didn't choose third person mode. How do I actually add this in? That's actually very simple. Let's go to content drawer. Let's go here and go add and then add feature or content pack click that and you can actually add third person even if you didn't select this at the beginning when you create your project you can add it now i actually already did that once you hit this add to project button what it actually does it'll create this uh let me cancel this okay it'll create this folder over here third person this contains all the third person blueprint that you need to set up your character you don't have to create from scratch because unreal does it for you so this is a great way to get you started now you probably won't be using this in your game you want to recreate it yourself but here this is a very simple way to get you started and off your feet just to test your scene look in here let's double click bl blueprints this is the blueprint that tells the Ho unreal engine to spawn this guy over here this contains your actual third person character the mannequin character that's going to be running around this blueprint tells unreal engine that this is a third person game so this is important why because you also have to set it up in project settings so come over to edit press this and you want project settings over here i'll pop this up and what you want to do is go to game modes do you need this now i've already done it this used to be something else what you need to do is you need to choose that bp underscore third person and it will pop up it's smart enough as long as you get the first few characters of the name of the file it'll know what it is and you want the third person game mode so that's important so you choose that and then for the default pawn class bp underscore third person so third person character this is the mannequin blueprint so that's important after that's uh set up just close it it automatically saves so just close it down and that should be, you should be good to go now if we press play right now it'll actually spawn the, the mannequin in a random place i believe it's the origin though yeah on and we're very far away from the tunnel now i want it to spawn right beside the tunnel so how do we control where it spawns now to exit out of the, the gameplay mode press the escape button now if you have the houdini engine connected to your unreal engine to at least for my computer it does take a while to exit out of the gameplay when you press escape it give it a second it, it does take like 30 seconds or so if you're connected to the houdini engine for some strange reason it could just be my computer but anyways let's add a player start so we can control where the player spawns now come over here and what i want to do is here basic and i want player start click that perfect it adds it exactly where i want it uh, it's probably the last place i added it that's why it's it's in the right place. And I want it to be a little closer. Let's move it down right here. I want it to fall off just a bit. Now let's see. Now, once we click this, it should spawn right there. Okay, perfect. Now let's exit out of this. I recently restarted my Patreon campaign and I'm offering some one-on-one -on -one services for those that are struggling with Houdini and want to accelerate their skills at a faster pace. I'm here. As you all probably know, I want to create short films and I'm hoping this Patreon platform will help me gain some more resources to get my short off the ground. Thanks for watching and sticking to the end.